The boy started to paint his face with blood. Then the two of them walked out quietly, covered in blood. Only by making them think he was one of them could he escape. But the different appearances of the two men still made the zombie come over to him. She carefully sniffed the man and found no abnormality. So his heart was relaxed. But within a few steps, he spotted a long-haired zombie sitting on a pole. He pretended to be a zombie and walked, but managed to fool the zombie. The zombie leaped to the ground and sniffed the boy. But the boy didn't panic. He took a bite of the broken palm in his hand and ate it in front of him. Seeing that the boy was one of a kind, the zombie let out a long whistle. All the zombies chased the man like vicious dogs. He ran and fell into a deep pit. All the zombies crouched at the edge of the pit and stared at him. He was lying in the pit in despair. The next moment, the zombies jumped into the pit. But the man suddenly woke up. He realized that everything in the village had disappeared. Then a car drove up and they told him that the village had been deserted for a long time. Is the boy still alive and where did the walkers go? Was it all a dream of the man or not?